Alright, what's up guys? This is Austin Mars TV back here with another video and today we basically got a video over the airbrush hairline enhancement. And if you were wondering how long this enhancement lasts on me, like um it probably lasts like four to five days. Um if I don't scrub it too much when I'm in the shower, like if I don't wash my hair and like scrub around the area sun, it can last up to almost a week for me. And also if it's not sprayed on too heavy, it can look natural. So it's um a pretty good enhancement so that's why I wanted to make this video over it so yeah let's go ahead and get into it this is all the stuff you'll need for the airbrush enhancement so basically you'll need a compressor an airbrush some alcohol and some kiss express some type of like bottle to mix them up in the airbrush and compressor I'll recommend I'll leave down in the description that's what I got this compressor with and I also got this airbrush I just messed it up when I took out the front and the needle accidentally broke off so you can just rock with this and this and it's around like $80 I think just check the description um, it's a really good deal so I recommend picking that up but when it messed up I ended up replacing the airbrush with this one I think this is called like a TRM one and it's a really good airbrush it's just like not necessary because it's over like a hundred something um, but I just find it more convenient with the trigger and also it's a little bit better so yeah you don't have to pick up another one the one that comes with the package will work fine and if you want to upgrade down the road you can go ahead and do that but yeah and when you pick up the compressor and airbrush set I would recommend like you get in some cleaning supplies for the airbrush and also like some airbrush cleaner solution so like every once in a while you can just take this apart and clean it out and all that so it doesn't get uh, clogged up or anything so moving on is the alcohol and kiss express so these are the two things you'll need for your mixture so you could use water but what I found out with water it's like when you mix it it like starts turning this like a purplish color and I know a whole lot of people have this problem um, I don't know what it is like but with alcohol it doesn't do it right here i got k98 uh black kiss express um you can find this at like local hair stores and stuff like that also i use 50 percent alcohol to mix with the kiss express get into the mixer part i just put some of this um alcohol into one of these like applicator bottles so it's easier to squeeze and mix with this so for mixing the stuff what so don't pay attention to the stuff already in here so say you're mixing like one ounce of Kiss Express style. So you fill up Kiss Express all the way to here. I would add about half the amount of alcohol, like around here, like a, a half an ounce of alcohol to mix with the Kiss Express. But sometimes like they come out like different bottles of Kiss Express are thicker than others to me. You really just gotta find a mixture, like shake it up. Don't add too much alcohol to the Kiss Express and then like let it get runny but not like water runny you know not in between like honey and like water and something very important is the mixture you made you got to make sure you close off the top and not let air get to it or else it can change the color of it like i've left i've left some of the um color overnight in this because i thought i could use it in the morning and what happens is as you can see let me turn on the airbrush but like right here it's the color from yesterday like you see the blackish color and I already sprayed some right here but if you spray it like just look at the look at the color difference like that color is a purplish color and it doesn't look right on the head compared to this black color so yeah you gotta make sure you always clean the color out of this like with some water or airbrush cleaner every every day you get through using it and also you got to make sure you keep your applicator bottle or whatever you keep your mixture in um, away from the air and like closed off so it doesn't change colors like that I'm not really sure what this thing is called but I got it with a cleaning set off Amazon and this is what I use to spray in the old solution so what I do is just start spraying and as it's spraying in there I spray water into the top and just let it spray for a while but this right here isn't necessary I just use it to spray the old solution in 
and also so I don't have to like waste paper towel spraying out the old solution on like the old mixture so right here after you get through spraying out the old spray um just check it and see if it's all out like if it's just little spurts here and there it's probably the best you're gonna get it unless you like thoroughly take it apart or like use some airbrush cleaner so if you're just now getting started out what you want to do is plug up your compressor and also hook up your airbrush holes and the airbrush to it and then after that you want to go ahead and mix the kiss express and the alcohol but like i said some of them come thicker than others so you just gotta mix it up and find out like just keep on adding small amounts until you get the perfect mixture for you so now once you got your airbrush and stuff set up um chances are like you didn't have to clean out yours because you probably haven't used it yet but if you have already just make sure you clean it out before you do this so now you just want to take some of the kiss express mixture and like squeeze it it doesn't matter the amount just however much you need into the top of the thing then you want to put the lid on and right here I'm going to show you testing it out like as you can see here goes the purple color we originally started with with the old mixture as you can see like with the new mixture that's black compared to the uh, purple mixture like when it shows up on the head it kind of looks brown on camera a little bit but like this color like that I got in here it mixes good with like brown and black hair because like if you spray it out light it can mix with brown hair really good also so I, I saw a couple celebrity barbers do this and I just wanted to share it with the general public anyone trying to uh, start using it so right now I'm just going to show you a live demonstration on my head um, so yeah, so what I'm about to do is apply it to this area right here. I'm not about to line myself up before it, but when you do it on a client or something, uh, you want to do it right after you get through lining them up. So I'm going to be looking at the LCD screen. So if it's not that accurate, it's because I can't really see it like that good because this is a real small screen and all that. But yeah, I'm just going to show you that it works and it stays on there pretty long. So you know with like hair fibers and stuff, you can't really mess with the area too much even when you have the holding spray on there because they come off a whole lot easier than this. So what I'm about to do is use this brush right here and brush over the area. Like I'm brushing it like medium, like I'm pushing against the head pretty good right now. And as you can see it's staying there, it, you can manipulate it to get lighter over time, but it's going to stay there. And like, like I said, if you don't brush that area too much, um, it will last you a good couple of days. But yeah, hopefully that helped you out. Hit me up on my social media if you have any more questions. This is Austin Mars TV, and I'm out.